Jig of the day. Shoreline crawl. We're gonna learn how to tie this. You ready to run and go? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here. Welcome back to Bassin 101. Tie number nine? I think it is. This is called Shoreline Crawl. This is uh, kind of resembles a lot of the crawfish I have in this area. They kind of literally just kind of beat the bank. You, I can, you can actually see them in real shallow water creeks and stuff. A little green pumpkin, a little red, little pumpkin, and uh, some green and red tinsel in this thing. Now remember, I said last week I'm changing everything to a 40 strand skirt and I'm also leaving a little more length at the bottom of it. It's still ballooned or umbrellaed, put it that way, umbrellaed. But still, this makes a good looking jig. You can use all kinds of trailers with it. So how about we go to the table and tie this thing? Let's go. Okay guys, so now we're going to do shoreline crawl. The recipe on this is 10 black, 10 olive, 10 pumpkin, 10 red, and I have a split. I'm now using 12 tinsels instead of six. This is red and light green combined. Now, I'm out of my glue. Let me take this off first. My glue dried up. I'm out of it right now, but you can use Sally Hansen's. It's not going to hurt. I've used it before. Small dab, 210 Danville. Always use black. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the black little towards the top. If you caught my last video, I changed everything to 40 strand instead of 45. These have all been skip cut like I showed you before. Skip, skip tied. Like I've mentioned before. And this will go around the sides a little bit. Pumpkin. Kind of want this a little towards the bottom. Now for the red. This is going to kind of 
spread out just a little bit. So I want it mixing in with the olive and the pumpkin. Looks good. Now for the tinsel. And again, I still want to leave this more towards the bottom. Cut the sides just a little bit, be fine. Oops, well, quick release there, huh? down oh, I got the boys back here fighting they'll be alright alright got all those cut Good. Let's go ahead and come this dude out just to make sure we're good to go. Now, I have a different way of cutting these. Just a pair of vice grips. In case y'all wondering, I've got a bag set here on the edge of my table that's removable. And it just has a Ziploc taped around a ring. I'll cut roughly about an inch. Below the jig. Start skip cutting. And I want just a little bit towards the back. Still kind of flaring like an umbrella. 
that one just a little bit. At the back, let's see what we got right here. Oh, that looks good. All right. So you got that slight chewed up deal, kind of balloons out. Comes to a nice taper. Just a few strands at the back to kind of hang over that trailer. But there you go, guys. A nice dark, tight pattern. I call that shoreline crawl. There you go. Shoreline crawl. That's just a real good looking pattern that you can use all kinds of trailers with, man. Doesn't really matter what color. I mean, you can, there's kind of a smorgasbord of colors you can throw with something like that. Anyway, that's all I got for this time, guys. So until the time next one, may the Father bless you, keeping Yeshua's name. And as always, fish out. Thank <laughs> you.